God's Covenant with Abram. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram, I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. And Abram said, You have given me no offspring, and so a slave born in my house is to be my heir. But the word of the Lord came to him, This man shall not be your heir. No one but your very own issue shall be your heir. He brought him outside and said, Look toward heaven and count the stars, if you are able to count them. And then he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed the Lord, and the Lord reckoned it to him as righteousness. Then he said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land to possess. But he said, O Lord God, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He said to him, Bring me a heifer three years old, a female goat three years old, a ram three years old, a turtle dove and a young pigeon. He brought him all these and cut them in two, laying each half over against the other. But he did not cut at the birds in two. And when birds of prey came down on the carcasses, Abram drove them away. As the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and a deep and terrifying darkness descended upon him. When the sun had gone down, and it was dark, a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch passed between these pieces. On that day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foes, they shall stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. 
for he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high on a rock. Now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger, you who have been my help. Do not cast me off, do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. If my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not give me up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they are breathing out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 17 through to chapter 4 verse 1. Brothers and sisters, join in imitating me and observe those who live according to the example you have in us. For many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. I have often told you of them and now I tell you even with tears. Their end is destruction. Their God is the belly and their glory is in their shame. Their minds are set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and it is from there that we are expecting a Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will transform the body of our humiliation that it may be conformed to the body of his glory by the power that also enables him to make all things subject to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved.
the lament over Jerusalem. At that very hour some Pharisees came and said to him, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. He said to them, Go and tell that fox for me. Listen, I am casting out demons and performing cures today and tomorrow, and on the third day I finish my work. Yet today, tomorrow and the next day I must be on my way because it is impossible for a prophet to be killed outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings and you were not willing. See, your house is left to you. And I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray to the Lord for courage to give up other things and to give ourselves to him this Lent. Give your church the courage to give up her preoccupation with herself and to give more time to your mission in the world. We pray for Ukraine, for its government, for all its peoples. For the refugees who have crossed into other nations. May the blood and water flowing from the side of Jesus bring forgiveness to your people and help us to face the cost of proclaiming salvation. Lord meet us in the silence, give us strength and hear our prayer. Give your world the courage to give up war, bitterness and hatred, and to seek peace. We pray, Lord, for the governance of Russia, for the church in Russia, for voices that would speak truth, for those who are courageous, Lord, to protest against injustice. May the shoulders of the risen Jesus, once scourged by soldiers, bear the burden of political and military conflict in our world. Lord, meet us in the silence. Give us strength and hear our prayer. Give us the courage to give up quarrels, strife and jealousy in our families, neighbourhoods and communities. We pray from the communities 
here in Cumbria where we live and in other places where those who are gathering with us online may live and work. Father, we pray for our workplaces, for our homes, for our schools, for our businesses, for our social care agencies, for doctors and nurses, for policemen, for those who work in government. May the presence of the risen Jesus, his body once broken and now made whole, bring peace and direction as we live with one another. Lord, meet us in the silence. Give us strength and hear our prayer. Give us the courage to give up our selfishness as we live for others and to give time, care and comfort to the sick. We pray, Father, for all those who are ill at this time, physically, mentally, emotionally. We pray, Father, for the safeguarding of all those who are vulnerable. And, Father, we pray for our own dear ones who need your encouragement and support. May the wounded hands of Jesus bring his healing touch and the light of his presence fill their rooms. Lord, meet us in the silence. Give us strength and hear our prayer. Give us the courage to give up our fear of death and to rejoice with those who have died in faith. Especially we hold before you those who have died in recent days and weeks as we remember those who are dear to us who are ever in our minds and our hearts may the feet of the risen lord jesus once nailed to the cross walk alongside the dying and bereaved in their agony and walk with us and all your church through death to the gate of glory lord meet us in the silence Give us strength and hear our prayer, here and in eternity. Amen. May the Father of life pour out his grace on you. May you feel his hand in everything you do and be strengthened by the things he brings you through. This is my prayer for you. May the Son of God be Lord in all your ways. May he shepherd you the length of all your days. And in your heart may he receive the praise. This is my prayer for you. And despite how simple it may sound, I pray that his grace will abound and motivate everything you do. And may the fullness of his love be shared through you. May his spirit comfort you and make you strong. May he discipline you gently when you're wrong. 
and in your heart may he give you a song. This is my prayer for you. May Jesus be Lord in all your ways. May he shepherd you the length of all your days. And in your heart may he receive the praise. This is my prayer for you. My prayer for you.